Hi guys, it's Lohi and welcome to another video. And what you're seeing here on the screen before you go what is going on is that I'm painting over an old picture of mine and it's an unfinished picture. So I'm essentially finishing something that I started years ago. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I actually did a picture of uh, Hinata that uh, in the same way. So basically I had an old picture of her that I never finished. So I took that and finished it. And I do this occasionally uh, for myself when I'm bored, when I'm feeling uninspired, any any reason, you know, I feel stressed. So I just want to uh, do something fast and fun. And this is, uh, you know, personally, it's personal, something I do for myself, for my own enjoyment. And usually when I do this, I only paint like a face and never finish the rest. But with the picture of Hinata, I actually ended up drawing the entire picture. So I was like, ah shit, I didn't record it, it would be so nice. So I decided that, you know, I'm gonna do another one for you guys. And uh, because, you know, I, I think it's interesting. Like, I do think it might be interesting video to see how things have changed and how you just kind of uh, go on about doing things that you how how different are they going to turn out to be that's that's it and um yeah i usually tend to choose uh pictures that i never finished like i sometimes take uh like when i say old pictures uh, sometimes they can be finished but usually they are unfinished and the reason is pretty simple that, uh, you know, the reason I never finished them back in the day is usually because they didn't live up to my expectations, they weren't good enough, you know, for myself. So if I can draw over them again and do better, then that's essentially a proof that I'm better than I was. And. I know that's kind of weird because it's it's obvious if you look at the works that, you know, of course you improve during the years, you know, the, but it's not really about, it's like you can actually feel the difference. Like what I enjoy is the, because just seeing yourself improve is not really that wonderful, I guess, but if you have a work that you used to struggle with, like you would draw it over and over and over and you would paint and paint and paint and no matter what you did, it turned out trash. A couple of years later, you pick up the work, you draw over it, no problem, things go smooth as fuck. You know, that's the best feeling because you can tell that it's not just your work that has grown, but you as a mentality, you are actually like understanding what you're doing. And that's the great thing to me about art. And that's why I do this. Uh, and this one also has a 2011 version. So the first one is 2011. The second one, the picture under this one is from 2016. And this is going to be, of course, 2019. And it's from anime and manga called Kamichama Karin. And it's, uh, it's one of the... Back in the day when I started drawing, this was like my biggest inspiration. So this is kind of a, like a tribute to uh, something that's very, very personal, I guess. It's like mm, I met some really good friends through this show. People that I'm still friends with, people that I've traveled across the world to meet. So, or well, one, but you know, I've made other friends too. Okay, so it's a. Uh, it's a sort of big deal for me. And uh, another thing you might notice is that the colors are, if you watch, watch my other videos, which to be honest, I don't blame if you don't. Everything I do is trash. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, if you watch my previous videos, you may notice that the coloring is a little bit different from usual. I'm not sure if you guys, I, I think you will notice. Yes, you will. And that's because I finally did what I wanted to do for the longest time and go to my personal no-go zone. And this is going to be really, really stupid story, but essentially 
for some reason without anyone telling me this uh, in my mind I created a barrier that there was a no-go zone in my color wheel that I did not go to that and it was like on the border you know when you go to the desaturated area if the little circle that you use to pick the colors if that's too close or if the pick tool, okay, let's just call it a pick tool, is too close to the border of the desaturated border, then I cannot use the color. And it's so stupid, I know, but I did it anyway, and I don't know why. It's a really stupid mental barrier I created for myself. I don't know where it came from. I think it may have something to do with the fact that people always tell uh, that Oh, you know, don't shade with black or don't shade with grey, yada yada yada, but I mean, we always tell people that in order to break the rules, you have to know them first. I know color theory, at l I know the theory, you know, when it comes to actually using the colors, that's a different story. But in theory, I know uh, warm tones, cold tones, mid tones, uh, you know, things that blah blah blah, the way that you build colors. In theory, yes. Uh, practice not so much <laughs> so for some reason I was still treating myself like oh you know I'm I cannot trust myself with these colors and it's really really stupid but it's, for some reason I just had that idea and I talked to my friend about it and I was like I really want to do this washout colors that it's a style that I've tried to achieve for the longest time the you may notice it if you look at my works that I sort of want the more desaturated and I think it really brings out the mood too which is why I really like, like it but like I said I've never been able to actually go and do that so my friend was like you know we just had a talk and she was like giving me a boost and was like you know you can do it like art is not set to the stone like if you color pick other artists or you know photographs you actually notice that there's a lot of gray out there it's just that when we tell like beginners so that they don't do the am amateur mistakes but it's not like if you know what you're doing that you are supposed to limit yourself to that and i'm just like you are so right i'm just like you know what fuck with the no-go zone let's go to the no-go zone and i went and did that with this i'm not sure the colors may not be up to everybody's taste but you know uh whatever I do what I want, as if I care about what you guys want. <laughs> and uh, another thing is that I really am enjoying the rough painting or the having certain areas really, really rough. But I think there's in this picture, um, I maybe went on and refined a little bit too much. There's some areas that are messy on purpose and then there's some areas that are messy just because I got a little bit lost and I had no idea what the fuck to do and then I was just like oh shit but when you do this sort of controlled messy when you uh, have work that's messy because you can leave it like that that's great I really love that but it's really hard to learn to sort of it means that you have to have like a very controlled brush and I'm trying to get there and I'm trying to learn that but it's gonna take some time obviously this is still uh, I'd say it's a good direction uh, and uh, I still need to find the balance because it's not like I want my pictures to be nothing but messy I really like the nice balance when you got like refined smooth areas with a little bit like a rough brush strokes and to me that's just the best you know <clears throat> but uh, I've done a lot of dif different things now so I went to the area of you know new area of coloring and uh, you know uh, drew over an old picture of mine so you know things are looking bright i'm actually really excited to draw more which is surprising but anyway this picture is almost ready so bye bye